prospectors. I guess they got that from the fact that this is a really big industrial area. Time to go upstairs. What's going on is Anton from AntonDaniels.com. I am here at Southwestern High School, home of Jalen Rose on ESPN and Bashan Leonard, a former NBA player. You know my curiosity got the best of me. I'm obsessed with Detroit high schools because I graduated from a Detroit public high school. The thing that's unique about Southwestern High School is bordered right around Detroit in a Delray area. If you don't know about the Delray area, it's right around the Ambassador Bridge where you cross over into Canada, over into Windsor. The demand for a high school in this area around the 1920s was significant because there were a lot of people coming over here as a result of industry and business and the industrial boom that was going on in Detroit at the time. So there was a mad push at the time to really get this high school built. Initially, this was built as an elementary school. This place was dedicated in the 1920s, 1922, if I'm correct. By the 1960s and 70s, the population inside of Detroit, especially in the industrial area, Area, started to decrease slowly and then by the 80s it really started taking a nosedive. Despite the nosedive of the student population in the 90s, the city along with uh, Detroit Public School Systems decided to invest millions of dollars in repairing the building and one of the significant repairs that they made was they poured millions of dollars into repairing the pool or building a new pool for Southwestern High School, which never opened because it couldn't pass health inspections. In addition to that, they decided to rebuild the pool again in the 2000s. So they put, I believe, like $1.25 million into rebuilding the pool, but they could never use it for competitive competitions because it was too small. That's just a microcosm of the waste and how things, I believe, was mismanaged within the city at the time. And I believe Detroit is really on the upswing, especially downtown Detroit. But I believe that that's interesting. A couple more things before we go and exploring in here. In 2009, 2010, Chadsey High School closed, which was a nearby high school to Southwestern. And there was major concern within the community as far as parents, administrators, that were concerned because of the gang activity and the rivalry and the possibility that you know, students coming in from another high school, merging in with this high school. At the time in Detroit, uh, you know, it wasn't that great. Lastly, Southwestern High School closed in 2012. I believe they had a student population of less than 800 students at the time. And in 2015, three years later, Saki Automotive, which is an Indian-based automotive supplier, purchased the property along with the school. And the word in the press and things like that was that they were gonna turn this into a training center, fix it up, reopen it, and make it what it needs to be. Sock the Automotive is directly next to it and behind it. Tore out half the football field, never did anything with it. As far as I know, it's still abandoned, nothing is happening. So I'm curious to see if there's any resemblance of a high school or if there's some kind of transformation happening in there that, that really makes it into a training center. So let's get in there. It's cold out here. I'm sure it's gonna be colder inside than it is outside. That's usually how it is, but it's cold. Let's get in there, let's check it out. I appreciate you guys, let's go. Southwestern High School in Detroit. It's actually lights on in this place. Obviously this is a classroom, the first one. Wow. I'm surprised, bro. I mean, I know this is um, owned corporately and the school is uh, significantly beat up. But uh, to see lights on in the school, it's pretty crazy. Obviously it was a fire.
This is pretty tripped out. Restroom. This is a small restroom. No stall. It's fairly clean. All right, you see him. It's really clean in here. It's been gutted. There's lights on in here. That's pretty crazy. This place has been abandoned for a long time. All the floors are clean. I wonder when the last time somebody been in here. Hmm. I guess they had desks. And these floors. Snow is melting. Well, I don't expect to run into uh, any friends or visitors in here. I hope. Oh. An auditorium. You could tell the school wasn't as uh, big as the other schools. Must have been a fire in here. The auditorium isn't as large, but at least the, uh, wow, this is carpet. The chairs are still intact. Classrooms right next to the auditorium. This place is weirdly built. Where's the principal's office? Wood floors intact. Now this is like a maze. Somebody from Southwest High School, tell me what this is. Tell me what area I'm in. Yep, they've been doing work. It's gotta be an administrative area because look at the floor. crazy this place has got a history uh from being scrapped like the scrappers really took it to this place i guess this is like the entrance because i know the security probably was staying right there so this is probably the front entrance and on to one of the more creepier places areas what is going on with these lights on the front of the building they put these up to make it seem like it's windows and to make it a little bit more um, aesthetically pleasing from a distance. And it actually kind of works, to be honest. I love it when I can see remnants of uh, what it used to be from a school perspective, like the actual logo and name of the school on different things like that right there the prospectors i guess they got that from the fact that this is a really big industrial area time to go upstairs i think it's three floors maybe four don't fall on the floor it's definitely lights on everywhere 
floors, the wood floors is warped. It's kind of nice not having to um, use the flashlight, though there isn't any natural light in here. What I'm looking for more than just the classrooms. I'm looking for the pool that was never used. Well, it makes sense that this is a little more cleaned up because this is owned by the supplier manufacturer. It's right next to it. Guess there's more steps, huh? See, they got those uh, things up on all the windows. So they got a additional wing, like they connected two schools. Did you know that in order to save money from moving all of the equipment and chairs and desks and all of that stuff, they did an auction. So I don't know how much money they made, but they say they saved over 84,000 moving costs. I'm not sure how relevant that is as far as like the city still recklessly spending it. Looks like we got an open door here. Guess we'll move over into the next section of the building. Is it okay if I admit that I'm lost here? Let's see if this part got power. Oh, there's the pool. We got a little bit of natural light in here. They say this pool was a waste of money because they spent a bunch of money to build it and refurbish it or redo it twice. And it still didn't meet health standards or standards as it pertains to being able to compete with it. That's a lot of spray paint, that's a lot of orange. Locker rooms, showers, everything stripped out. But apparently they just use it for recreational purposes, I guess. Hmm, more lights. See the water just flowing. This place is beyond repair. They say that uh, they was gonna make this a training center. I don't see it. The company that owned this place gotta have put these lights up. Must be another auditorium. Something like that. Look at all that. People was straight up working in here. That's crazy. All right, y'all see him. Shout him out for me. Highlight him. Let him know Time Dog gave him some shine. Is this more classrooms or is this where the band played? Look at those arched doorways. People took their sweet time. Oh man, hood, kitchen, all of that good stuff is right here. I did a lot of cooking in here. I say we go over there. What do you guys think? <sighs> I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. You do pretty much gotta have balls of steel. These classrooms are so small, bro. Used to be a clock up there. 
I can tell. Oh, a library. Not much resemblance of a library in here. Wow. So the library was on the second floor. Man, it's just water pouring right on in. Well, just because the place next door own it doesn't mean they was doing anything with it and I mean turning this into a training center how much uh could you possibly do with it you know what I'm saying like it's too big it's a huge school hmm this is a dope view this is pretty awesome I guess if anybody was coming for me I would see them first I got the vantage point I learned that from playing Call of Duty. You know what I'm saying? You said you can't learn something from playing video games. It's tripped out that this would be open. I'm guessing that they have windows here. You know, it's so tripped out. So if you see the little poles right there, they actually tore down uh, half the football field. So, or they used it to build their factory. Top of the auditorium. This is the best seat in the house right here. Wait a minute, let's head up here real quick. I just need to see. I haven't been up here. I don't want to miss anything. Well, it ain't no lights on up here. That's for sure. Well, there's nothing left to see here, guys. Let's uh, try to find my way out of here. Pray to sweet baby Jesus that everything go well. I feel like it's something that I missed. I don't know why. Well, made it out alive once again. Make sure you follow me on all my social media for additional content, conversation, and pictures. You know what I'm saying? I like me at AntonDaniels.com. That's the uh, automotive company, Sakthi, Indian automotive company that purchased this school. They own all that too. Again, I appreciate y'all for taking this journey with me. I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.